So the next one I like to go over is what we call golf. Now there's absolutely no L in there, but you know, fog was so kind of nice, had a nice ring to it. So to some way to kind of remember the other one, G of F instead of golf, sometimes I say, eh, let's throw an L in there and just call it golf. I don't know. It's the way that I remembered it from my high school instructor. So I just remember golf. And all golf represents G of F. What that's going to represent is G of F of X. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to plug the f of x function into the g of x function. And I'll just go through this again. It's the opposite way around. Exactly. So then what I'll look at is I'll just kind of explain it this way. OK, I'll explain it this way. If I said g of x equals negative x plus 1, okay, and I say, what is g of 3? Well, then, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty basic. You just plug in the 3 in for the x, right? What if I said then, what's g of f of x? So just like you did with the 3, now you're going to put f of x in there, right? It doesn't matter if I put, what if I did g of a house? Guess what? You put the house in there, right? I know it doesn't make any sense, but whatever you're plugging into that function, that's going to be your input. So yes, my input is f of x, so that means I'm going to do negative. So this what this represents. Let's actually just write over here. So, f, so g of f of x, that represents a negative f of x plus 1. Well, what's my f of x? My f of x is x squared. Okay. So therefore, that's going to equal a negative x squared plus 1. That's it. Done. Guys, I'm going to, I'll, um,